Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about the Florida House mulling tax relief for Irma victims, Stormy Daniels saying she's now free to tell her story, and more. Today is Thursday, February 15th, and this is the Morning Report. Farmers, nursing homes, and property owners impacted by Hurricane Irma could receive tax relief as part of a package introduced in the Florida House. The package will be rolled out in the House Ways and Means Committee and will be built on education-related tax credits, which are a reduction in commercial lease tax and sales tax holidays on back-to-school items and hurricane supplies. The committee chairman said Tuesday that the goal is to offer across-the-board savings without hurting the budget. Senate Finance and Tax Appropriations Chairwoman Kelly Stargill said the package might include a number of House proposals, but the numbers might not exactly align. The largest part of the House package, an estimated $154 million annual reduction in state revenue, would come through sales tax credits that businesses could take to fund voucher-like scholarships in the Gardner Scholarship Program and the Florida Tax Credit Scholarship Program. The House is also proposing an 18% reduction on civil penalties for non-criminal traffic infractions if motorists attend driver improvement school. Stormy Daniels, the porn star whom President Trump's personal attorney acknowledged paying $130,000 just before Election Day, believes she is now free to discuss her alleged sexual encounter with Trump. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, believes that Trump's attorney Michael Cohen invalidated a non-disclosure agreement after two news stories were published Tuesday, one in which Cohen told the New York Times that he made the six-figure payment with his personal funds, and another in the Daily Beast, which reported that Cohen was shopping a book proposal that would touch on Daniels. Daniels' story. Daniels first detailed her account of an alleged extramarital affair with Trump in 2011 when the celebrity website The Dirty published it but then removed the material under the threat of a lawsuit. Her story then remained largely out of public view until a month before the 2016 presidential election when another news outlet published her account. At issue is what transpired inside a Lake Tahoe, Nevada hotel room in 2006 between the actress and Trump a year into his marriage with his third wife Melania. In recent weeks, the actress played coy, declining to elaborate on the story, but Clifford's lawyer says she will soon announce how and when she will tell her story publicly. Sam's Club is offering free shipping for premium members and simplifying its membership tiers. The Walmart-owned Warehouse Club said it will give free shipping on online orders for Plus members on 95% of the items it sells. Before most of their shipping costs were based on the item size and weight, the shipping method, and the delivery address. Free shipping and faster delivery have been key areas for retailers as they try to adapt to shoppers' preference to shopping online. Sam's Club is also converting its three membership plans into two. Sam's Plus will still carry carry a $100 annual fee, while the business and saving plans will convert to Sam's Club memberships with an annual fee of $45. The company is trying to better compete with their rival Costco by focusing on the more affluent customer. It's added more fresh produce and other high-quality products. Last month, Sam's Club started closing 63 U.S. clubs and said it would convert up to a dozen of them to e-commerce fulfillment centers so it can be faster with deliveries. The idea is to get the fulfillment center closer to the customers. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.